Picture yourself waking up before the sun. You're cuddled on the beach, watching the sunrise. Your best friend is by your side. You dip in the water, you kickstart your day. All of your problems are gone. You're instantly awake. You're ready to go. Or maybe not, but Kenzie and I were determined to find out if the sunrise swim TikTok experience could really work in our lives. Is it all pink skies and good vibes or are we getting ourselves into something entirely different? Oh boy. This is just not it. You ready? As ready as I ever will be. <laughs> the parka and the bikini top is a vibe. I feel like I have like travel anxiety. I feel like my body is like the only reason you're up right now, you're going to the airport. <laughs> Yes, especially us together. Yeah, I know. I don't think I've ever been up before the sun with you if it wasn't for the, for the airport. But nope, we're going to the beach. Arrived. Oh my God, there's a seal. Oh, that's probably why they have it toned off. Okay, so it's day one of our adventure and you might be asking yourself, what the heck are we doing and why? Lately, my For You page on TikTok has been filled with the Sunrise Swim girlies, the Lex Hildagos, the Brinley Joiners, all of these beautiful women who wake up before the sun, they take a dip in the ocean first thing in the morning and from this side of the screen at least, it seems to be just this, the most wonderful, enriching, peaceful, aesthetic way to start your day. Like truly from a three minute TikTok has convinced me that this will solve all of my problems. And I can be the person that I wanna be if if only I wake up at 5 a.m. and swim in the ocean. Well, it's getting brighter. It's getting brighter. Everyone I follow on TikTok who does the sunrise swims lives in Florida. Lives in either Florida or Hawaii. Where they live, the sun rises over the ocean. <laughs> And we're West Coast, so the sun is rising from back there. The sun's in Escondido. <laughs> Dude, my I feel like my body's like, was relaxed watching the sunrise, but now I'm like tense Getting at like, when are we gonna go in? How cold is it? It says 66. That checks out. Well, I say that as if I felt the water, I have not. I don't even know what that feels like. <laughs> Day one was an interesting start. So I wanted to do this video with Sierra because I was inspired by the TikTok girlies. But this realization that San Diego isn't necessarily this warm, tropical paradise like we've seen in the TikToks definitely had me less excited the closer we got to the water. All right, here we go. Wish us luck. Upon further reflection, I don't feel like I was the right one for this video. <laughs> I definitely felt a little catfished. So there wasn't much of, of a sunrise for our first sunrise swim. It was cloudy and not an ounce of sun or sky in sight, but the swim part, definitely a cool experience. One, two, three. We live in San Diego and have the benefit of being close to the beach. So Kenzie and I decided to try it for ourselves for a week straight, seven days, to see if there could be a real benefit to this morning routine and how it affects the rest of our day. Or if it's just, you know, mostly for the aesthetic. Okay, post ocean dip. I feel really good. I feel so good. It was only really bad at first. Yeah, and then once my legs got a little numb and then my body as a whole just like adjusted, it was still cold. It was, but it was like a fun cold. Yes. And then when you get out, you just feel so good. I don't know, I thought this was something that would be like really enjoyable in the moment. Like I pictured myself out there like floating and like, oh, this is so nice. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> <laughs> but I think this is something that I really enjoy more like after. after. Yeah. Sitting here. Like a nice little shock to your system in the morning. Yeah, and now sitting out here is like, it's peaceful again. But yeah. now I don't have the dread that I did when we first were yeah. sitting here. Yeah. <laughs> Successful first day. Yeah, yeah. I did feel really good after, like really good. But honestly, kind of worried about the rest of the week because I was just so freaking tired all day. So tired. I felt really good after. I don't know if it was like the cold water, starting my day in nature, spending time with Kenzie, waking up and going to do something right away, or just having time set aside for me, starting my day off early. I don't know what it was, but it had me feeling so good. And then I just had a great rest of my day. I was hanging out with my daughter around the house. We ran some errands. The entire time I felt very just 
chill. I have been in just a very laid back, like content, but chill mood today. And I don't think chill is normally a word that anyone would use to describe me, including myself, but here we are. Apparently all I need is a sunrise swim in the ocean to chill me out a little bit. That night, Steven and I went on a date night with my brother and my sister-in-law, and by 8 p.m. I was just a yawning machine. The tiredness is hitting me. I was home at 9.30, I got right in bed, and fell asleep very easily by 10.30. Okay, day two, if you are wondering if it was easier to wake up this morning, the answer is no. Day two, here we go. Was it easier for you to wake up this morning? Because it was harder for me. Harder for me to wake up, easier for me to go to bed. Yes. I fell asleep so much quicker last night. My alarm went off this morning and I was just, I knew what I was about to have to go do and I was like, I don't want to do it. I'm trying not to like freak out about the fact that I'm about to go in the water and just like enjoy this. But all my brain can think about is the fact that I'm about to go in the water. On day two, I honestly lost sight of the entire video. I was just so tired. I was like, what are we even doing? Just want one morning with like a pretty pink sky and like not overcast yeah <laughs> just one just one okay we're like five minutes past sunrise time we were just thinking it's about time to get in the water and now it's like heavily missing heavily misting yeah it's getting a little grayer <laughs> out there my clarity is going away this is not what the tiktok girlies is, made it look like no i don't know why we thought this was a good idea you. <laughs> I was questioning all of my life choices on the drive over. I was very tired and cold and just dreading going in the water. And then I saw the sky there and that didn't help at all. It was a gross morning. It was gray and misty. The water was choppy and murky. It was just not appealing. But I forced myself in the water and as much as I hate to say it, I felt so good afterwards. Once I dunked my head in the ocean, I didn't care that I was tired and it was misty and gray. I just felt so refreshed and like instantly awake and that dread just completely went away. How do you feel? I feel so good. Me so too. So good. I did not think that today was gonna be one of those moments, you know, where we're like, oh, that was hard, but I'm glad I did it. But I feel better, I feel better than I did than yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. For sure. Once your head goes under, I don't know if your whole body goes in your yeah. shock or <laughs> Or like if it's just, I don't know, once you're under, you're like, oh, this is fine. I I liked it. I didn't think I was gonna like it today. I really liked it. Yeah, yeah. Why did the ocean give me mutton chops? <laughs> you look like Anthony from Bridgerton season one. <laughs> Day two, I actually did something with my extra time in the morning when I got home too. I wanted to do some gardening today, but I knew it was gonna get really hot later. So I figured I'm up early anyways. I got home at like 6.30. I've been out here for an hour. I got so much done and it's like nice and cool and peaceful. The birds are chirping. I'm not a morning person usually, but I really like this. And I actually took advantage of the extra time this morning, so. Studies have shown that being in the ocean can have a positive effect on your mental well-being, and starting the day in the ocean definitely had me feeling just very present, very grounded. The cool water can also soothe sore muscles and inflammation, and that early morning light can help your circadian rhythm. And I was feeling that, like in the form of just feeling really refreshed and energized and ready to get into my day after our first two swims. I spent most of the rest of this day with my family in the pool, and it just felt like peak summer. I was in such a good mood. The best part of my day on day two was really just taking a nap into another dimension, possibly the best nap of my life. I wasn't as productive with my day as I had hoped. I was pretty tired, but mostly it just felt really chill. My body just felt chill. It's five in the morning. Let's go jump in the ocean. Day three. Do you see that teeny bit of light poking through the clouds? That is making Kenzie and I very excited. It just looks so much more inviting like this. Yeah, it's the full boat. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those colors. Do you see that? I see a color. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> That's, that's like a pretty morning at the beach. I'm excited. This, this water, this scene right here looks a lot more enjoyable and inviting to swim in. Yesterday it was literally like thick, dense gray clouds and then just like 
wet. I'm like actually feeling excited to get in that water. Yeah, I don't have dread. Yeah. And this looks, this looks more on par with the Instagram post you sent yeah. me. This is what Sierra thought we were getting when we've been doing this. <laughs> Hasn't quite been like that, but we've got some more. Dare I say, I'm actually excited to go in today. Well, we enjoyed it after every time, but this is the first time in the beginning where I'm enjoying it too. Yeah, it's peaceful. Oh, blue sky. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Haven't been doing that any other morning. <laughs> we saw the sky, like the actual sky. Like only, only a little hint of it, but it made it really pretty out and it just made the water seem so much more inviting. After yesterday, I was worried that this whole week was just gonna be cloudy, misty, murkiness. But this was such a welcome change and it just genuinely made me so excited to get in the water. Something about just Starting your day early, swimming in the ocean with your best friend just starts your day with your endorphins high. By day three, it was actually starting to feel worth the inevitable crash that followed. We could have stayed in all morning. It was just the best. It was the longest that we've stayed yet. We didn't leave the beach until almost like seven. I feel alive. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could stay because I just want to play in the waves, but my husband has work. Otherwise, this is where we'd be. This is where we'd be. <laughs> this is the latest we've stayed. Yeah, we've been here over an hour. I mean, I'm usually at home back in bed already. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would say see you tomorrow, but we're working together see today. See you in a few hours. Yes, <laughs> see you at work. <laughs> I went to the gym right after the beach. I was feeling good. I was like, okay, early morning start to the day, sunrise swim, and the gym. I am unstoppable. I can do anything. Well, turns out I could only do anything till noon. That's about how long that lasted me until I hit a huge wall and just felt completely completely drained of energy. It's noon and I am fading fast. I'm so tired. Like, I just want to go curl up in bed and take a nap. Oh, hey, Kenzie just got here. How are you? Hello, I'm good. How are you? Exhausted. You are? <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm more, we swapped. I'm, yeah. more, I'm more awake today than the last two days and you're having a tough time today. I'm, I'm having a tough time. Now that Kenzie's here and Jaden's on her way over too, I'm hoping that like being around other people will kind of help me keep pushing forward because I have a lot on my to-do list today. Like it's a pretty tight schedule to get everything done. But my uh, my my energy and my like productivity just is uh, it's, it's not, not, not there. Day three, I didn't get everything I needed done in my work day. And as a result, I did not feel that same sense of peace and chillness as the first two days. I was more like tired and stressed about falling behind. And it was here that I started to realize that this is not something sustainable that I could do every single day long-term and definitely not on work days. It was a struggle bus. All right, day four, let's get it. We've got our, our bonus Jonas, Frankie, with us here today. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess if there's three of us, you can just be Kevin. You can be Kevin. Oh. Day four, we are more than halfway through and Jaden decided to join us for day four, which just made it even more fun and special. Having Jaden with us added a little extra spice. It was really fun to see how someone new reacted to the experience. And we were all just having such a blast together. Like it, it just felt like peak girlhood. Good. Yeah. Yeah. That was so fun. I liked it. I feel like it's honestly, it wasn't as cold as I was anticipating. Yeah. Yeah. I actually thought it was going to be worse. I always feel fantastic for a few hours, but I will be crashing later. Oh, it's going to hit. It's I gonna know hit. it's going to hit. I, I just hope that it doesn't hit me as hard today as it did yesterday, because yesterday was rough. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Time to go take a shower and get back in bed. Start the real day. Yeah. Yes. It's a nice morning. There's a lot of surfers out there today. I, we were like, why are there so many surfers today? But I guess it's Friday. And but there's big waves today. Big waves. Big dolphins. We're seeing dolphins out there. Oh, act what the heck? Literally right as I said that, I looked out and saw one. <laughs> there were so many little things that I didn't expect, like all of the wildlife that we saw. Dolphins, jumping fish, crabs, sea anemones, sand crabs, the sea lion from that first day. No sharks though. I, I got some comments on my vlogs worried about the sharks, but growing up near the beach, I think it's one of those things that 
we're very aware of, but not afraid of. We're entering the shark's environment, so the risk is always there, but it's a calculated risk. We're in the shallows and shark attacks are really rare. They don't typically seek out humans. The car ride to the beach is statistically much more of a risk for us than swimming in the ocean. Sharks are really amazing creatures that are really misunderstood and villainized. And honestly, I, I was more afraid of like strange men on the beach when we're alone in the morning than sharks. But in general, I felt really safe with Kenzie by my side. Although for that reason, I'm not sure if this is something I would be comfortable doing alone. All right, bye, see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Wait, it's actually gonna be so sad when we can't see, see you tomorrow. Like, yeah, we only have two more days. Oh, I'm missing you. I know. <laughs> I'm like sad at even the thought of there only being two days left. Like I have just, I just love being out there. I love this feeling after. I love getting this time with Kenzie. I, I'm not, I'm not ready for it to be over. The hardest part of this whole thing is just waking up. Like the actual swimming in the ocean, that's the fun part. Just waking up at 4.45, that's, that's hard. This is definitely the most awake I've felt on the second to last day. I am adjusting, so. So freaking hard to wake up this morning, oh my gosh. I feel like I could sleep another like five hours. Like when my alarm went off, I was in a deep sleep. But all right, day six, here we go. This experience definitely made me realize how much I love the ocean and just how much I take for granted living here. Something else I had been nervous about this week was honestly just being in a bathing suit. It made me a little bit sad thinking about how much I've missed out on because of that. I went on a beach vacation a few months ago to visit a friend and it was the first time I've swam in the ocean in like 12 years. Doing this was honestly really eye-opening for me and it just made me realize how small and insignificant that is in like the grand scheme of things. And just having that put into perspective for me, especially to start my day, was just so needed because I just wouldn't want to miss out on these memories with my kids just because I didn't want to put on a bathing suit. This experience was amazing. Was it the aesthetic sunrise swim of my TikTok dreams? Maybe not, but it ended up being so much more than that. I am so lucky to live near the beach and I never want to lose sight of that magic. I'm like such an ocean girly and I think sometimes I forget just how amazing I feel swimming at the beach. So connected to myself and to nature and this week was such a great reminder. And I loved having this time in the morning with my best friend like frolicking in the waves like little kids again. And just as moms to have that time that we don't normally get for us at the start of the day was so special. Like yes, I was really freaking tired at some points but also it was kind of worth it. And starting my day in nature was just a really grounding and centering experience. The cold ocean water was so invigorating and energizing. There is definitely something amazing about diving in the waves and waking up in the water. Maybe it didn't solve all my problems or make me more productive or even look as beautiful as I'd hoped, but I cannot deny that there was something truly magical about these mornings. On the last day, we even got Steven to come out and celebrate with us and bring his drone. Last day. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm sad. All right, swimsuit is on. I'm, I think I'm actually really gonna miss this. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> sunrise swim we roped steven into it yep my first one and my last one 
<laughs> I'm glad you came in though. It was yeah, fun because we've been good. doing this, you know, a week now. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous, that's for sure. <laughs> it is kind of nice. I definitely feel awake. I definitely would not want to do this seven days in a row. Yeah. And I feel like doing it seven days in a row probably took away from the magic, but anyways. Honestly, it didn't. Yeah, it, I, I think it just compounded the tiredness because yeah. we never got to like catch up on sleep. But the actual experience of going in the ocean, I feel like was amazing every time. Yeah. yeah. And Kenzie, how was your last sunrise swim? Just so tired. <laughs> I got rocked so hard. The waves today were so rough. So rough. Do you, like, remember the first day when there were literal, it like, was nothingness? It like eerily flat, and now we're getting pummeled. Will you ever do it again? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Since filming this video, we have gone back for a sunrise swim just for funsies, and it was fantastic. We picked a day with a rare, clear coastal morning forecast, and look at that sky. It is gorgeous. Th this looked a little more like the TikTok girlies. Jaden came too, and we all just had an amazing time. It was like all the best parts of the week-long experience, frolicking in the waves, having that girl time together, enjoying nature, and just feeling so awake and invigorated after. And we were able to pick the perfect morning. So we had beautiful sky, clear water, and we weren't as exhausted because we had normal sleep in the days before. We have another one planned for next week and I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. And I don't know if this is something I would have tried without this video, but I'm so glad that we did. It's so funny because Sierra had like actual clips of her day with this experiment. And I honestly just have to emphasize how absolutely dead tired I was doing this seven days in a row. Like, could not be bothered to pick up the camera. Like, zombie postpartum new mom tired, but without the cute newborn. I had so much fun though, and you really truly do just feel so amazing afterwards. Maybe just not seven days in a row when you have to still be a functioning adult. I have though implemented occasionally doing like a cold-ish shower because something about it just really, really does wake you up. You feel good. It's just, it's a really nice way to like start your day. Overall, the sunrise swim was such a fun experiment and I am so glad we did it. It is definitely something that I want to keep doing. So that was our sunrise swim video. We had the best time out there. So make sure you are subscribed to my vlog channel and me and Kenzie's Instagrams if you want to see more of our future sunrise swim endeavors. Thank you so much for watching. Be confident, be kind to your body and I'll see you next time. Bye.